All right, guys. I am going to make a short video about uh, camping. Uh, camping your troops are uh, really beneficial to you. Um, I went through before starting this video and camped every single one of my farms and bank and um, Georgie and Knitter, as many camps as I could spare, uh, marches I could spare, which is all of them in my bank and my farms. And I camped them around our hive. So uh, this is what our hive looks like currently. And you can see all these camps that are around the hive. And I made sure to keep them all within the border of the hive. Uh, but you see how it, it poofs up the, um, the spaces in the hive. And when you have something camped there, so like this one right here is um, from KG.2. It, it uh, won't allow anything to uh, be there. Um, spawn is a, a word used um, while the camp is there and camps last for 12 hours. So as you can see, I've already put up um, two camps from Knitter right now. I'm collecting from a coin station that spawned uh, a silver station earlier, and I, I rarely have a opportunity to jump on, on silver uh, close to our hive. So I saw that spawn, and I was like, I'm going to jump on that. <laughs> so um, when you have uh, camping can benefit you when you are uh, needing to use up space in your hive, um, this way, enemies that might be attacking you uh, won't be able to jump in those open spots and attack one of your players or yourself if you have your shield down. So, excuse me. Uh, say my shield went down and uh, I've been hunting um, and battle passes on. So I, I, I can't shield yet. Um, I don't want to be attacked and lose troops. So what I can do is um, uh, camp my troops. So I'm going to show you how to camp. You select a space as close to you as you can because you don't want to uh, send, have a really long march. Uh, all these camps up here are long marches. So say, I'll, I'll send a camp right here. But for this example, I'm only going to send one troop. And it prompts to say, don't forget your sheriff, but I don't want to send my sheriff in this one. Okay, it's going to take a minute and 40 seconds to send that. Um, but say, for my example, I uh, my shield's going to go down or I'm currently hunting and fighting. So I want to protect my sheriff so that it's not going to get taken. So I would camp. And also, if you don't want to lose troops because your shield is down and people are attacking you, you quick select and uh, lose all the troops that you can. Um, so I'm going to camp right next to me. That included my sheriff. So now, if anybody were to attack me, I'm camping my troops so that there's no possible way that they could take my sheriff as well, okay? Um, I was in a SVS probably like a month and a half ago, and there was a member um, collecting silver at one of our lakes, and I tile hit that uh, member, but when I tile hit, it dropped my shields, and I, I was then being hit by that person. Uh, and then someone else came in, saw that my shields were down, and started hitting me as well. Um, I started moving my town, bouncing it, transporting it. And we were playing this great game of cat and mouse. And uh, that player that I had originally tile hit messaged me and said, that was... <laughs> That was awesome. I messaged him back and I'm like, that was the most fun I've had in this game for a long time because I stay shielded because um, 
some of the bigger players in our bigger alliance like to hunt and they they pounce on you as soon as your shield goes down uh, I will I'll probably do a video of uh, hunting dead towns uh, later and I'll probably use Georgie and show you how to do that um, most likely I am going to get hit and so that's why I'll sacrifice Georgie to do that but I'll I'll show that camping example all right uh, I'm gonna bring back the troops from camping um, uh, recall that uh, I want to leave a march open uh, for just my peace of mind if there's a uh, a gang of bandits that they'll start or something I just want to be able to have it open um, so you can see how it kind of poofs up your alliance as uh, the camps now a lot of people will camp around someone whose shields have gone down now this is great this is great that you want to help your fellow players uh, because um, let's see here I'm trying to see if there's a good example all right so this one right here because it's not burning the the town that's uh, underneath wild Bry and uh, above my camp and next to Donovan X3 it's JJSX it is it is a dead town that got moved here because someone else hit it at one point and it got moved to one of the open spots close to us so if it wasn't next to our warehouse if I would have camped next to it on the right it would mask that it doesn't have a shield on um, and camps in other towns will help that and it kind of uh, helps uh, mask that a town needs to be shielded and so that benefits it but on the other side as well you will draw attention that there's a camp around a city and people will actually players that know what they're doing uh, will see that and start clicking and they will jump over and attack so just be aware that if you're trying to camp to protect other people and um, lessen the chance of them uh, their march to attack a town that's not shielded uh, it doesn't matter they're gonna attack regardless I camped uh, fully around someone uh, with all of my uh, marches in all of my different towns and it didn't help they players still came in they still camped uh, excuse me they still marched and attacked in and uh, they were a little further away but they still did it it didn't matter and um, we don't have big enough players to protect because if we drop shields and attack they'll just attack um, one of the bigger players and deplete them so it's just it's not fun I'm gonna bounce over to my other small account Lily and uh, show you how it can kind of poof up um, around around there when I had a smaller alliance I was constantly camping like that was a, a big thing just to kind of make us poof up like a like a peacock all right we currently have a few uh, different people here so I'm gonna camp just gonna send one troop continue uh, because I'm level uh, TC 11 I um, I don't have very many marches I think I have three marches so say if I drop my shields and started to attack um, or uh, my shields dropped I don't I don't want anyone to um, uh, attack me so let's actually let's actually just go ahead if I get attacked I get attacked um, oh look r2 r2 is gathering around our hive um, when you scout someone there's no one around us goodness 
we're in a really secluded area. Uh, when you scout someone, your shield drops. When you scout, uh, Uh, when you scout, attack, or whatever, uh, you your shield will drop. All right, so that's not going to be very helpful because there's no dead towns around us. Now, I already have two camps out, so I won't be able to move my town. I can't transport my town. So say if I just wanted to move it over here, and I click move and use, be warned, there are enemies, okay. Oh, it actually did let me move. It's if I have a camp with my sheriff. So say if I camp here uh, with my sheriff. So let's quick select and sheriff and camp. So I apologize, I, I gave you the wrong information about that uh, just now. So I'm gonna camp with my sheriff Now I try to move back here and use um, a, a teleport. It says your sheriff is on a mission. Please get your sheriff back before you move your town. So you can't move your town without your sheriff. So if you are being attacked and you camp your sheriff and some troops, you won't be able to move your town. So you are susceptible, you are susceptible to be hit. Now, when you are going out hunting, make sure you uh, make sure you dump all your reservoir reser uh, resources. I don't know why I said reservoir. All right, so I'm going to recall this one, this camp. I know this camp particularly has my uh, sheriff in it. So I can click on the camp itself and recall. Or do you remember the other video I did? Uh, click on the flag to the left here that has a star on it with a 3-3. Three, three. That shows that I have three marches out and I can click on that and if I can't remember which camp has my sheriff I can actually go through it here and recall from that point um, so that I don't lose camping other troops so say if you are in a battle uh, you are battling in the moment that is a good way to uh, show uh, recalling your sheriff alone all right all right i'm gonna move back there um i will have another video later on that will show you um a little bit more but uh say i wanted to kind of uh, poof up this cowboy right here he has his shield down he's one of our our members in this little alliance um, it's not gonna help uh, if I camp around him because I can't fully camp around him and if I do it's gonna draw attention to that uh, that account and more it's more likely someone will try to hit that account all right um, remember when you do camp uh, it'll send mail notifications so you have to go in and you can't just click on it and it'll open all of them that's an option that's not available whenever you camp which is a little annoying but it is what it is uh, you have to click on each individual camp report uh, i wish that the developers would change that uh, but that's just my wishes from playing the game and the fact that i have so many accounts and i i have camped a lot all right, so if you have any questions about camping, please let me know. I'll uh, do another video of going hunting and we'll use the tools that I have showed here and uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. All right, if you guys have uh, um, any negative comments that you're going to post, I will delete them because we don't need no negative Nancys. All right, stay positive. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.